We have it on record that we are the fastest nation to get red readiness approval. And we just got that in June, I'm sorry, in uh, October this year. Now, if you place that on record against other nations that started before us, they are yet to get their red readiness proposals approved. So, and the, 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 the unique thing about the red readiness program in Nigeria is that it has a two-track approach at the national level and then at the state level. The state level, it has to do essentially with the state that has forests, the state that has antecedents on how to manage its forests, the state that sees red, not just an, as an end in itself, but as a means to an end. We are quite happy that the momentum that is sustained, that the red is going. And I think with red, we'll be able to attain other associated programs or benefits from protection of the last tropical rainforest. What we are faced with is to, um, to reach out to the vast majority of stakeholders and to reach out and create more awareness on these issues and to persuade them that red is beneficial to all, that everybody is a winner as far as red is concerned and that too is a multi-benefit kind of arrangement. You know, we benefit from the gains we get from ecosystem services, we benefit from alleviating poverty at the community level, we benefit at even political organizing in these processes. So the challenge is to convey these benefits that are associated with red to other people. And again, one of the typical ways that how do we hold the people down? How do we scale up our activities at the community level? The challenges of resources to get the thing down. Because we need to, as we move from the use of forests for timber concession to carbon concession, now the article of trade is carbon. The people who are interacting with the forest need to come to these realities, need to benefit, obviously, need to understand the mechanism of this new trade that we are going into. So the challenge is to transfer this level of knowledge to the level that they will participate. So that's the challenge we have. And again, to translate, to see means, giving them alternative means of livelihood, that they will have every reason to keep away from the forest. The reason why we degrade the forest, we cut down the forest, is because we are poor. But a degraded environment exacerbates poverty. So we need to see how to make the people see beyond now, beyond survival, we need to think about tomorrow. Do I want to leave an inheritance to my, what kind of inheritance do I want to leave for my children who are coming behind? Do I want to subject them? I love them. So what I give to them is to give them more hardship or what have you. We need to ponder at all those things to, and put them together and show that yes, red has a hope. If it has to bring us the desired benefits, we must take the actions that we ought to take right now.